Capricorn, welcome to your spirit guide messages for December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So we're going to look at here what spirit wants you to know at this time. I do consider all my readings timeless, even though it's dated for December. So this is for whenever you see it, till whenever. Um, you can check uh, videos on my playlist. Um, on my channel, I do consider them all, like I said, timeless, even though they're dated. So let's see what's going on for you, Capricorn. What Spirit wants you to know at this time. I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. Happy December. Can you believe December already? Happy early Christmas. I will, uh, Capricorn, be doing some um, more bonus readings. I'll probably be doing elemental bonus readings. What's coming in for the elements for 2020. So... If you are new and you're interested in that, please do subscribe and you won't miss out. I do a ton of readings, do all kind of readings for all the signs every month. So if you're interested, um, like I said, you can check out my channel. Like you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe. And if you do, thank you so much. Hit the bell. You'll be notified. You won't miss out on any readings. All right, Capricorn. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in what decks I'm using. Uh, a lot of stuff down there. How to reach out for personal reading, social media, a lot of stuff there. All right, so let's get three. I'm going to get three oracles from each deck. And then we'll clarify each card with a tarot card so we can get a little more clarity on the message. So Capricorn, what does spirit need to know at this time for Capricorn? Oh, I'm feeling these two right here. Okay. What does spirit want to tell Capricorn at this time? All right. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Coming into the Christmas New Year season already. I can't believe after this series and a few more bonus readings, I'll be starting January readings already. Can you believe that? All right. Capricorn. What are the messages? Oh, I guess those two. All right. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. This is the Earth Magic Oracle. We have fire, passion. So this is a very fiery, passionate energy. It's a go-getter kind of energy, having that fire in your belly, um, going after what you want and desire. Could be anything here. Um, just really, you know, being in that go-getter, uh, a lot of ambition, drive um, kind of energy. Hmm. Okay, we have new moon promise. So maybe something new coming up here uh, that you're very, very passionate about. Um, could be the promise of something new that you're very uh, passionate about. Could be a new relationship, could be a new job. Um, some of you could be moving. Um, whatever you knew you have coming in, only you know what that is. So, I mean, we do have relationship here. So if it's a new relationship, I see, you know, very fiery, passionate energy and the promise of, you know, something new here. So, and then we have lotus flower unfoldment. So this is something unfolding. Could be this new relationship unfolding into something very promising and passionate. Um, the flower there, you know, the lotus flower, you know, it grows in the mud. It grows, you know, in like swampy areas into this big, beautiful flower. So if things have been a little um, murky in the past, you know, if it's not a relationship, if it's something else here, if things have been murky in the past, um, I feel like things will be unfolding and the promise of something new uh, as it unfolds will be, I think, even better than it was before. And you may get that, like, fire passion in your belly again moving forward in something here. So, or this could be telling you just to let un things unfold naturally. Just, you know, let it unfold, see where it goes. But I do see a lot of promise and passion, fiery energy. All right, let's see. Take the, all the messages as they resonate for you. If you get a little bit of a different meaning or whatever you hear from the cards and what I project out onto them, then please take them however you feel you get the messages. Not every single message will be for every single person, so please keep that in mind. So 
I would say take what resonates, throw away the rest. So we have here, you know what? I did this backwards. This is supposed to go there. Yeah. Okay. This is supposed to be next. I did it backwards. Okay. We have dance with life. Do something to change our energy. So this is telling you to, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling just blah, not in a good space, this is telling you to raise your vibration. Dance with life. Do something. Dance. Sing. Uh, Go shopping. I don't know. Do something here that you enjoy doing. Getting out in nature. Go for a walk. Uh, listen to music. Whatever here that you can do to change your vibration. If you're in a low vibration to get you in a better mood, to get you in a better place, then Spirit wants you to know it. it's okay to do that. Or maybe you need to do that. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. So, again, I feel like something is transforming here um and we did i did say here with the lotus you know grows in the murky you know swampy kind of environment to something beautiful so when you're feeling low and, and down and murky this is telling you also to do something that'll make you feel beautiful you know transformation so something is transforming here unfolding the promise of something new a lot of fiery, passionate energy. Mm. And we have align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change. So you may be feeling a little bit fragmented here, a little out of sorts. Again, when you're feeling fragmented and down and like out of sorts, again, doing something to raise your vibration, to make you feel whole again. Wow, okay. Oh, let's see. So we have strength. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a conditional basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. So strength here uh, reminds me of the fire sign Leo, which, you know, no one has to be Leo here, but just that fiery, passionate energy of being Strong, courageous, bold, uh, taming the beast from within, having willpower, stamina. Um, again, with that, you know, being brave energy. So, you know, being brave, having the strength and willpower to hold back and just let un things unfold naturally. So there may be something you're trying to rush or you're trying to um, make happen sooner than it needs to. And this is telling you just to let go, kind of let it unfold naturally you know, have that willpower to hold back. Okay, here we have, why wow, we have it, passion twice. Wow, inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is a time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. So a lot of fiery, passionate energy here. So yeah, Feeling inspired again as something unfolds and the promise of something new and having that fire, passion in your belly. I think you just need to have strength to hold back willpower and let things unfold naturally here. And if you ever feel down or whatever here is do something here to raise your vibration, make you feel good. Um, things are, tra something's transforming here, you know, so, Okay. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. Again, with here, with <laughs> do something to change your energy and embrace the moment changing your energy. I can't make this up. All these cards, we have strength, which is fire energy, passion, fire energy, fire, passion, um, wow. <laughs> so embracing every moment, uh, and don't judge yourself or others. Um, just changing your energy when you need to, when you're feeling out of sorts or not yourself or not aligned, you know, things are transforming. Just dance with life. Just, you know, do something to raise your vibration here. Wow. Wow. A lot of messages here. Uh, some of them uh, seem to be uh, coming in together, so let's throw some tarot on this. So, like I said, um, Capricorn, if you're new and you like my style, my energy, 
Please do subscribe, like, share, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any of your readings. And check the description ton box below. Tons of stuff there. Thank you to everybody who's supported the channel. Whether you subscribed, reach out for personal reading, donated, whatever here. Thank you. Thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thanks for all the support. So let's get some cards here to clarify all these for Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, what spirit is trying to tell you at this time? One more. All right, go over the bottom of the deck. Hierophant, so this is staying committed to your goals, your beliefs, your values, your morals. Um, you know, faith, spirituality, you know, being divinely guided. So being committed, staying committed to you, who you are, your life purpose, your soul mission. Um, something divinely guided here for you, the Hierophant. It could be a new relationship, could be going into a commitment, a marriage, or something like that. So let's see, with passion, we have the Two of Wands. So, and that's that fire energy. So this is about making plans, decisions for the future. You know, you kind of may be at a crossroads or maybe you have chosen a path and now you're making those plans, decisions uh, as you walk down this path, what you need to do, how, you know, you live your life, how you achieve your goals, but feeling, feeling very fiery and passionate, like you're ready for this. You're ready to walk down that path. So keep going. So now we have the promised new moon. I do see two people here. So we have the five of swords. So this can be um, an energy of being a little egocentric, um, winning at all costs, um, getting ahead no matter what. So, you know, maybe some of you have been faring, you know, maybe this new, this promise of something new, maybe it won't come. Maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to do that to make it happen. You know, being in that energy is like, I have to have it. I have to have it. It has to happen no matter what. I got to do this. I got to do that. And spirit saying, no, you don't have to be in that energy because the promise of something new is here for you. And you do see the same kind of energy here. So it is there, but there, here, you have your back to it. You can't see it. But here, you're looking directly at it. So the promise of something new is there. It could be a relationship. It could be something else. But spirit is you don't have to do any unnecessary things that you may regret later. So the promise of something new is here for you. So we have lotus flower unfoldment. So yeah, this is uh, truth, clarity. I think, you know, the sword energy is all about like that truth, clarity, uh, honest, open communication, speaking up for yourself, not taking any BS, cutting away things not serving kind of energy. So I think, you know, by letting things unfold naturally in a situation, no matter what it is here for you, that you will see things clearly. The truth will be revealed, I feel. You know, things will be brought, be brought to light. And then you'll be able to cut away things no longer serving you. Then you'll be able to speak with truth and clarity. You'll have clarity. You'll have peace of mind. Um, and just, you know, standing up for you, what you believe in, who you are and not taking any BS, but there's something here that you just may, may need to let unfold naturally, just like let karma work itself out. Cause this always reminds me of divine energy, like divine source saying, you know, just hold back, let it unfold naturally. Karma will just work itself out the way it's meant to kind of, that's the kind of energy I'm getting with that. All right, so let's see what we have here. So we have Dance with Life. So do something to change your energy. So the Ace of Swords is a brand new beginning here based on truth, clarity. Um, I think once something unfolds here, comma works itself out or whatever here, and you have this truth, this clarity, you know, all this energy, then you can have this brand new beginning based on that truth and clarity. You know, being able to just cut away everything no longer serving you a big aha moment, epiphany, realization. It uh, could be a big open uh, conversation with somebody, you know, kind of energy here. So, and I think this is, will change your energy. It'll change your whole energy field, your whole way of thinking, 
your whole life, whole new um, energy and way of thinking and clarity based on that energy. Wow. Wow, something big. I think it's something big will be revealed, some kind of truth or something like that. Some of you may be going into a new relationship and maybe you're a little worried about it for some reason. Like you don't feel like it's going to unfold the way it should. This is saying just to let it unfold that the promise is there of this new passionate beginning. You know, you have the two of wands over here, like not sure what's going to happen. But the promise is there with the new moon. Just let it all unfold naturally. So take these messages how they resonate for you. So we have transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. And we have the page of wands, which is about good news coming in. Very fiery, passionate energy, communication, uh, a new offer, endeavor, uh, idea, something here. So something changing, and it could be uh, some kind of, it could be a new job offer. It could be um, a new endeavor offer. It could be a big idea or something here, but something on the cellular level here, but it's good news. So fiery, passionate energy. So something good here happening for some, if that makes sense. And then we have align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? So we got the nine of wands. So this is almost like the same energy because you see this woman kind of, you know, fragmented and feeling out of sorts. And we have the nine of wands here. A lot of fiery, passionate energy coming through here. So the nine of wands is that wounded warrior, the tatted soldier. He's been through the battle. He's taken a rest, but, you know, he's ready to keep on fighting. So, you know, feeling out of sorts and fragmented from, you know, going through the ringer over and over and over. But maybe there's something here that you need to change, that you need to do so that you don't have to fight as hard. You don't have to um, struggle so much for some of you. So something needs alignment. So only you know what that is, whether it's you know changing your career, coming out of a bad relationship, um, ending you know bad habits or, or something like that, whatever that means for you. All right, let's see what we have here. So we have here strength. So, you know, courage, brave. So yeah, by being brave, courageous and brave and strong, you'll be going in a much better direction here. And, you know, and by letting things unfold naturally or whatever here, whatever you, what you, do, whatever you need strength to do to let unfold or let nature take its course or whatever, Going in a much more better direction here with the Six of Swords to peace, harmony, balance. Better direction overall. I think the right direction here is to have that willpower, inner strength to hold back and let unfold things unfold naturally. So we have here Inspire Passion, the Five of Wands. So this could be inner conflict, uh, competition. Again, a lot of wands coming out here. So... You know, you may be, may be conflicted on, you know, which way do I move forward? What do I do? I don't know what path to take here as you've got the two of wands over there. But go with your gut, your intuition. What inspires you? What do you want to do? What is your life purpose, your life mission, your soul purpose? Deep down in your soul, what is your passion? You know, and trying to get over that inner conflict from within and just following your heart's passion here. All right, so now we have embrace the moment. Embrace and enjoy every single moment. So we have the King of Wands. So, wow, a lot of fire energy here. So that is that go-getter, entrepreneur. You know, they go after what they want. They're brave. They're strong. They're courageous. They're um, energetic, creative. So embrace every moment and... Uh, you no, know, change your energy. You know, if you feel kind of down or lackluster, this is telling you to be in a more fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy, going after what you want, a lot of uh, drive and ambition and staying dedicated to that here. Or it could be commitment for some of you coming up here too. So a lot of different messages. Like I said, you take how they resonate for you. If you get a different message than what I get, then that's totally fine. But um, wow, wow. So I hope some of this resonated for you, Capricorn. Uh, good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.